Hello and welcome to Road Road at Wisdor. And in this video I'm going to be working on my Vauxhall Insignia. And the problem is the traction control lights and the ABS lights keeps coming up on the dash. So without further ado, let's go and investigate. See if we can't solve the problem. Right, so we get in the car, we'll put the ignition in. Start the car up. Get the service vehicle soon come up and then everything goes off. But when we put the car to the full lock, you see the ABS light comes on and the anti traction, whatever it is, it says service ESP. Uh, I've got to try and make that go off again. I'll turn it off, try and start it again. <laughs> Service vehicle soon, please go off. Yes, so the traction light's got off, the ABS light. If I gently put the steering round to that way, then go outside. And if we stick our hand in behind the wheel, Push it out with that for a bit. And lo and behold, the ABS light has come on again. So, what I'm thinking is there's a break in the wire somewhere. Okay, then, so we've got the car jacked up. Just going to whip the wheel off. Okay, so here's the ABS sensor, if you can see that. So I suppose I've got to work out where that wire goes to and unplug it. So bear with me while I do that. Right then, so I think I've found the join. I think the join's just back here somewhere. So I'm going to have to take this wheel arch liner out. It's just the we need a little prize or something. Let's get them underneath. They should just pop out. And the old thing comes out. Like so. There's a few of them around, so bear with me while I take those out. Because I can just pull that back. As you could probably see. There's the plug. Just press on either side and it should pop out. There we go. And we can disconnect it from here. And the old new flyers again. Just pulls out. Out. Like so. Oh, and there's one there as well with the looks of it. There we go. And that, that disconnected. Okay, so there we are. We put the other lock on again and there's the center itself, it's just an Allen key bolt. Not too tight. Probably give this a good cleaning as well when it's out. See if we can get it out. Just 
try and give it a wiggle here and there, it should come out. Let's get a screwdriver underneath it. Probably wants a good clean anyway. So we should be able to put all that through. Take it to the shed and have a look at it. Right then, so now I'm just going to split the uh, casing open, see if we can get to the wires. Uh, these are only a tenner online, nine pounds of it, so it's going to be a temporary fix until we can get one. Bend the wire like that, it helps to split the casing open. So it looks like there's only two wires in there, so that's good. So I'm just going to cut this casing off as far as I can down to this bit. So I think that's moulded on there, it won't come off. Cut it off to about there. too clever. Feels like the wire's actually broke inside there. Yeah. So I would say that's where the break was on this joint. Yeah that one feels the same. No metal wire inside because it's too stretchy. So I suppose Got to try and cut that off and investigate more. So bear with me while I cut that off. Okay then, so I've just cut all the way down there with the Stanley knife. That should just come off there now, like so. Could even put that back on if I wanted to. So, as we can see just there, that's where the, what if I pull it, you can see it stretching, there's obviously no steel wire in there whatsoever, so that's where the break is. So let's cut this bit off and uh, see how far I've got to go. So let me do that, and I'll be back to show you my progress in a bit. Ok then, so I've spliced that back to there, did actually just snap off at those two points, so obviously that's where the brake was, just there, so if I cut that down to there somewhere, and then find another wheeze, find another wheeze, find another piece of wire to splice it into there. And uh, join it all back up. Okay, then, so I found some wire to fix onto it. Just got to join them together like that to then to link them into each other. Just wash them down a bit. Okay, so it's not brilliant, but uh, that'll do for that one. Let's get a bit of this heat shrink stuff down there. Push that down there. And just go over it with the soldering iron. Oh, there we go, here's our first join. So leave me to do the other one, two, three, and I'll come back to you.
Okay then, so that's the two wires. Got this shrink sleeve stuff on it. Oh, there we go, let's go and try it. Okay then, let's stick that back in there. Put the bolt back in. Get that wire back through there. Put this wire back in. So let's put the key in the ignition, see what happens. Oh, that's because the door's open. Ooh, that's the camera. Oh, that's the bonnet light. The ABS light's gone. Oh, it's the ABS. Yes. So let me get all that secured up and then we'll do it from lock to lock. See what happens. Okay then we've got it started up, let's get moving. Pressing the brakes, nothing's happening. Put it on full lock. Nothing, put it on the other full lock. Nothing. Yeah, temporary fix, done. So there you go, an easy simple fix, I reckon. Well, a temporary fix, anyway. Bye for now.